Stephanie installs things and Calvin watches and yells Featuring. at this guy. Your boy. Let's come on, come on down. This is what we're installing today, Calvin. Go just, ahead, go ahead and sit in that. You can't do that. Dude, come on, just try it. No, no, you can't. Uh, no, I'm gonna. Uh, come on. No way, you can't do that. I'm not. We're installing this today. These seats are from Cypher Auto. I'll put a link in the description for Cypher Auto. You can also get harnesses and stuff like that. These seats go up and down. I mean, up and down, and also. Forward, back, reclines. Those How's the coolest logo is? I would want that. It's pretty tight. Car. It's pretty tight. The whole thing, really nice leather. Yeah. Nice bolstering, not too bad, not too bad. We only have one seat because I can only fit one seat in the Miata to get it here. I'm kind of on a time crunch. So we got to get this done and get out of here. Let's take the seat out first. Just a nice rusty nut. When uh, Calvin took this out, which is like holding the seat on, he said uh, he used no pressure at all. Yeah, let's see if this one's the same. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so sketch. Next time you get in a crash, Dan, you're just... Yeet! Important rule of thumb, keep everything loose at first. Like Calvin's butthole. <laughs> you just got... You just got bunk. I just got stained. Someone pooped on my leg. Brackets need to go in the car to hold the car. Do we have to reuse the same hardware? Oh jeez. Putting these bunk things back on, that ain't good. Problem. Problem? Oh! Yes. Is that the what? Is that passenger side? That better be. So this piece of the bracket goes on the car and we're gonna mount it on the car when the seats go on. This part of the bracket, so the second piece of the bracket, is actually gonna mount on the seats. This? There it is, those holies. Like this. There. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. like this. Oh! Like this, Danny, because this is where your seatbelt goes. <gasps> no, like this, like this, like this. That's, that's, oh, oh, no, okay. Right. There you go, Danny. Yeah, sure. So far we have the bracket down, one of the brackets, then we have like the slider thing, and then the polar upper thingy, and then that's how it's going to go on the car. Is there any more technical terms you'd say? What is this called? Slider? Slider bracket slider thing. Slider bracket, and this is the thing you pull up on. I mean, you guys get it. It's, so, bracket, slider thing, pull everything. This is what we got going so far, now it's going on the seat, and then the seat is going in the car with this on it. Tight? Nice. Super wide it out. Yeah, you blown out. It's like you got blown. Wow, Jeff. <laughs> really? Uh, come on, Jeff. That's super professional of you. I'm trying to shoot a really high quality film here. Jeez. This guy, really? Those are quality? Are you serious, dude? <laughs> are you serious right now? Jeez. I take five. Wow. I'm leaving. You can have this seat. You're just going to drive without a seat. Who needs a seat when you can just uh, Asian squat it? So we got the brackets on there and everything. We got the little slidey thing on there now so it can go back and forth. So when Brittany's driving it, she can pull it forward. And when I'm driving it, I can pull it backward. When I'm, actually I can't say that yet. I was gonna say something. I don't wanna ruin it. That's not making the cut. <laughs> That's in the cut. You know what, I might, that'll stay in there, but it's not making the cut. It got muted. You've been muted. Oh. <laughs> These things are so nice, dude. Here, my top still doesn't go down. What about your bottom? Does it go down? Hey, this is easier than the Dude, it fits! Of course it fits. Kind of. I mean, you gotta realign the holes, but that's what she said. Dude, think, look at this, you see this? You might want to take this off. No, you get it. So these seats actually aren't designed for a Miata. The Miata is a little big it's for the NA Miatas. The NB Miatas are a little bigger and they definitely fit in there, but for the NA Miatas, we might have to do some adjusting. I might need to take apart the center console or anything. You think it's no. good? You think it's good? Very good. Yeah, Dude, good. that fitment though is the only... absolutely perfect then. Wait, hang on. Before you do that, close the door. Close the door. Hold up. Hold up. Close no, the door. Wait, 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 wait. Before you bolt it? Yeah, good call. Oh! Let's see it. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at the side bolstering here. We need to roll up the window. Make sure that... Oh, I think it'll be good. Because no, no, yeah, you're good. good. It's for sure good. It's for sure good, dude. But I drove in a 
Muffler deleted Miata today and it was pretty crazy and I want to do it but I can't because I'm going to get exhaust soon for things. Again, having a slight problems with not the brackets it. and the holing, but this one. Don't worry about it. Oh, I didn't get it. Yeah. It's not aligning very well. As you can see there, the hole is not aligning very well. That one aligns, but this back left one doesn't align very well. What you're going to do is you're going to liberate just here. I think it's going to work. We cannot get one of the screws to line up in the bolt holes because of the brackets we got don't match up 100% to the actual hole we needed it. Yeah, the, the mounting point. So I was cutting into it. Now Calvin's cutting into it and hopefully we can get a few millimeters off so we can put it in and get the seat all mounted in. We had three of the screws of the four in and we tested it and it's just too sketchy. One of the sides goes up, so I was like, that's not okay. Calvin's cutting out the uh, carpet just Gotta because. Gotta do a little modification. Yep, it was getting in the way. Don't wanna deal with it. So cut out like four inches of the carpet and we'll be good. Now we should be good, so this should be able to come back out now. I'm not trying to talk you out of it. No, cut more? Yeah, it's still getting cut onto the carpet. Let's, so let's, uh, my... we need to cut more. You don't, you, you gotta, like, check on my honestly, you'll never be that close. Well, what about Brittany? You do it, because Brittany's about your size, right? Brittany's taller than me. Okay, get to where you think Brittany would sit. Is it tight there? Yeah. The seat is now in there, absolutely perfect. We got that uh, whole opening to be a little bigger, so we got all four corners in, so the seat doesn't move around. I took off a trim panel right here, took off this trim panel, which is right here on the car. That's the passenger side, so we haven't done that side. I took it off right here, it should be right here, that's why you can see more blue. I'm gonna pull the seat forward so it's not there anymore. So the seat belt kinda looks weird because there's no nothing like really covering it, but it still works and per performs just as normal as it should. Uh, it's bolted. This is what it looks like getting into the seat. There's definitely a heck of a lot of bolstering right here, which is not on the original seat, which you can kinda see back there. So getting in is definitely a little awkward. And it doesn't help that I pushed as far forward as you could be. So now I'm gonna push it back. And then it's super tight up against here, but the window still can't roll up. And I have about that much of room above my head, so I could definitely get a helmet on and still be comfortable. The fitment of the actual seat is incredible. The window is up, closing the door. This bolstering looks like it's going to hit, but it doesn't but these seats are definitely squeezed in there, but they're gonna work, which is awesome. The next thing I need for this car is a roll bar and a harness bar on the roll bar so I can actually put on the harnesses that we got. We got two harnesses, they're five point and they're three inches per strap. So this is what it looks like from the outside. The, st the stock seat looks like nothing compared to the new seat. It's freaking awesome. I want to thank Calvin back there for really helping me with the seats. He did a good job with me and he helped me out a lot. I want to thank Jeff back there for filming. Again, these seats are from Cypher Auto and I'm going to put their link down in the description. So if you want to pick up a pair of seats, I'll put also in the description and right here in the video what exact seats I have because they fit the Miata exactly. And these are their smallest seats. So if you have an NA Miata, these are the seats you want to go with because any other size seat, you're not going to be able to fit. Now they have other seats that are exactly this size as well. I think they're 19 and a half inches wide. If you have a 20 inch wide seat, which they do offer on their website, it's definitely not going to fit this car. A huge thanks to Cypher Auto for letting for sending out a pair of seats to me. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. That is going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, you better like the video. Comment and subscribe. Turn on the notifications. Do all that good stuff. Make sure you keep watching. We have huge things for this car specifically coming soon. Believe me, we have absolutely huge things. You guys should kind of know if you follow me on my other social medias, which you guys should do. See you later. I ain't got no problem spending all of my money.